Banners Preserve State Park in um, Port St. Lucie. Not interesting. Um, yeah, it's good because there's different types of foliage. So with what I do, because I don't use colour, it puts more importance on the composition. Right. When you use colour, like, like paint or whatever, uh, you can do almost anything if you do it really well and make it look interesting just through using the colours. But when you take away the colour, you uh, really need a very good composition, which is something I didn't really realise till I went um, out west last year. Uh, it's interesting, I went away out to the Grand Canyon after being in Europe and I realised when I got out there, both the Grand Canyon and the Cathedral Rock and Sedona and so on, it was really only interesting because of the colours, the, the, the orange colour and then the, the, the trees which were yellow and green and so on. Because in Europe I never really thought about it, but there's so much interesting architecture that you have a good composition pretty much wherever you go. So. That's why I've got to always hunt for a good composition and it makes, it puts more importance on the composition. And sometimes I see, therefore, paintings that are done where they've really just used the colour to make it interesting and the composition is pretty poor because they didn't need to use it. And that's, the, that's unfortunate really, I think you should always try and get a good composition as well. But that's what can happen when you have colour. Okay, check out this little black frog. Oh, jeez. <coughs> Never seen anything jump like that. Oh my god. Okay, so this is where I'm up to at the moment. So, um, I was just going to say that, um, so in this particular composition, um, it's fairly simpl simplistic and it, you know, it's pretty easy to be honest compared to some of them. And so I'm going to spend, so I can't, you know, it can't be too simplistic. So hence why I've done a fair bit of detail on the right there in the foreground to contrast with the simplicity of the um, the lake part, really. Uh, otherwise, it's all too simple. Um, and so I've spent quite a bit of time there doing the detail, the plants at the front there, and I'll continue to do so. And then what happens is, if you spend quite a while doing detail, you know, you can get engrossed in it and um, you need to stop really because you can get carried away and do too much and then you get you do too much detail in one area and then the picture starts to lack the kind of um, unity that it needs because the picture always, in my opinion, this is just my philosophy, but it always needs to be holistic. The whole entire picture needs to work together. Every inch of it needs to work together. So if you're focusing too much on one particular area, right, um, it can get out of balance. So you've got to kind of stop and then I'll go, you see all this area I haven't done at all. I need to fill this in. And then when I get this filled in, then I can go back and do more of that part there, the detail and so on. But it's very important to me, the way I do it, to always try and uh, get the whole thing working together. So, I, you know, uh, the way to do that is to move my eyes and look at the other parts and get things, you know, get the whole picture painted uh, to, with every every inch working together, if that makes sense. And um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to stop the detail there and go across to the left 
and start to fill that in and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so now you can see the pictures at a, what I always think of a very important stage, which is about three quarters finished. Because it's at this point, I look at it like, you know, how can I make a compelling picture? Uh, meaning, do I need to change this or that? That's not necessarily in the scene, just to make a compelling picture. Which you can see I've already, well, started to do a little bit, but from now on I would barely look at the scene. And it's really about composition and contrast. Okay, contrast not just of the light and dark, but also the um, cool. God damn, there's a little alligator out there. <laughs> okay, I don't want to keep my back to the water so much, but. Um, <laughs> There's, so it's the contrast of the cool of the paper, not that it's really cool paper, it's kind of warm tone, but you know, it is, still is warm compared to the um, walnut ink, which is a warm tone, you know. So I'm going to continue now, but basically this is the part that I really enjoy, and this is where I, and I mean it would be the same if I was painting. It wouldn't be any different and it's about highlights um, and what's what it, how are you drawing their eye of the viewer uh, and to what point and that's what I'm thinking about when I'm doing it how is the viewers eye led and at what is it focusing and you know then it's about very it's about more and more subtle um, more and more subtlety just tiny little um, you know, applications of ink, or if I was painting paint here or there, just just very subtle, very s small um, changes. It's not big, and you have to be very careful because you can easily overdo it, and it is very subtle. So you have to be very careful at this stage what you do, and to not overdo it. And then at some point, finito, and that's an important point to work out when to stop and not to overdo it. It's a, it's a very sweet spot where you just finish it just nicely. So I'm gonna continue now and I'll show you what it looks like soon, but I'm not far off finished now. Okay, that's it, finished. Um, <clears throat> so I've sort of potted around with it a little bit, changed a little bit, just not much though actually, mainly just darkened a little bit in the foreground put a bit in the sky. You have to be really careful with the sky, it's very easy to overdo. I might have slightly done a little bit too much there, but you have to be really careful with the sky and clouds. Clouds are the most subtle thing there is, as far as I can see. So, usually you do the sky at the end. And then, once you get that in, then you've got everything, every inch covered, then, yeah, it's just about accentuating this or that. Um, with just making something a little darker. Um, obviously you can't make things lighter, whereas with painting you can with white, but so you, then you would be putting in little, you know, insinuating with, with white to draw the eye, make highlights. Here I can only make things darker, so it's kind of the opposite, but it's the same um, process and it's to have the same effect so you're thinking at the end particularly about very subtly you're putting yourself in the viewers shoes and working out thinking about where their eye is drawn to and thinking about what is the highlight and drawing your eye in towards whatever would be the highlight so there you go that's this week's sketch, and that's the view that 
it's based on I say based on it's pretty similar to to this view um, you know I didn't change a heck of a lot this time just assinuated this or that but really the landscape in my opinion is just it's stimulus to create a compelling picture that's kind of how I look at it